Howdy, howdy. Welcome back. This is Mike again. I'm building the Millennium Falcon. Now we're up to issue 29. And you can see with each issue you get one of these magazines. That's got some fascinating... Some of it is behind the scenes of the movie, but a lot of it is behind the scenes of the, the story. And <laughs> some of these are some pretty deep dives into the story. But it looks like this issue are specifically doing the hull and actually just the whole turret ring which I have right here. We've got some other pieces but like many of these other kits you get parts for uh, other, other issues. Go ahead and open this up and see what we got. And I hope everybody is finding themselves safe. Even though the corona numbers are skyrocketing. That's why I'm hiding in my hovel, building spaceships. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of screws here, but only two different types. So we're going to organize them in the little screw container holder. I think these black hole screws are the ones that we're going to use the most of. These white ones, I don't think we use them until we actually start putting the plastic hole pieces onto the metal skeleton. So we're going to put you away. Alright, picking the sword. There's a good sword. And now what does this say? Take the turret ring provided with this issue and the frame assembly. Fit them together. You also need 14 truck black screws. And it looks like we have a notch. So we've got a notch and we've got a notch. So we're going to find this notch and line it up. That makes us look happy. <clears throat> okay, and like always, I'm going to put these screws in and not tighten them down. First thing I said is I'm not going to tighten them down. The first thing I did was I tightened it down. How about that? So I think I'm going to grab this from below. These magnetized screwdrivers, every time I put them in, it picks up. 10 or 12, I gotta strip them down and get rid of just the one, get down to just one, but I do love using a magnetic screwdriver, because otherwise you have to get your finger down in there to line it up, and well this is going together. 
much better than I thought it's lining up nicely. Can't tell you how impressed I am. And I, I hear this from everyone who's done this particular model, but just super, super impressed with the engineering. Oh, that one's not being happy. Why not? There we go. Some of these screws I have tightened all the way down. In fact, actually probably most of them I've tightened all the way down. But I might... If I'm bored one day, loosen them all up and retighten them down so that they're all happy. But right now everything seems to be happy, so I've been I've been tightening at the end of each kit's instructions. Doesn't say not to. Another one we gotta do a little bit of asking nicely. Well, that's not good. Come on. What is going on with this one? The screw is not biting for whatever reason. It looks like it's lined up. But maybe it's not. So in this case, we're going to loosen that with loose. Well, these aren't terribly tight. See, just had to ask nicely. So that's why I probably shouldn't have tightened anything up to begin with at all. It doesn't say not to, but it also doesn't say you know snug. It just says fasten. Hopefully my giant melon isn't getting in the way. This is making this much more sturdy. Amazing. And I think we're going to have, I, I, I would guess we've got two of these, one for the top and one for the bottom. I'm fairly certain this is the bottom, but it might be the top. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, maybe this is the top. Probably somebody who's already done one of these can let me know. Oh, 
whole reason for doing these videos is just number one, number one, so my brother can see what it is I'm going through because he wants one and I would love to get him one. But there's lots of videos out there showing people how you know that they've done their fancy updates and all that kind of stuff, but you don't see very much of the ones with the mundane stuff. So if you were interested in getting one of these kits, uh, there's some, there's, there's a few out there. There's some good ones, but I figured never hurts to have one more, right? So here's another one where we're just not quite lined up. One thing I can see is that this guy is not exactly where it wants to be either, so. Let's see, I'm gonna loosen up a couple more of these. Now we got a little bit of play in there, we'll be able to coerce it. Sometimes it feels right. What's going on? Oh, there we go. Just needed to be asked nicely is all. This is going together nicely. All right, and that's all she wrote. Going back through and snugging things up. Okay, and that's it for stage 29. Thanks for joining me.